It's a documentary. I'm making documentary. And the theme of documentary is not just about the yoga, it's me doing yoga first time and I'm doing yoga. And this documentary takes about three months to make. In my team there's Five people, including me. Uh, I am the director, film, and also I'm the main character. Very different, because now I am in front of the camera, and uh, others are doing the job, the putting cameras and lights up and things like that. So I, I just sit here and say what, what to do. It's kind of easy. It's a documentary about ice swimming. Um, well, we had about two or three days in which we prepared and planned the whole shoot. And the actual shoot only took one day, but it was like the whole day it was about maybe eight hours of filming. But in that time, we gathered all the footage that we needed, basically. But I think the post, the editing and post will probably take the most time out of all the whole process. I think in our team it's not really that we have fixed roles, it's more everybody tries to help uh, everybody else. So um, I've done some uh, filming during the shoot, but also helped with sound. At some point I also helped the boom mic, so I think personally I've done everything there is and we kind of try to help each other. the frame what they are shooting because I'm here in front of the camera but maybe when I was younger it was more like the thing I need, need to check how it looks but nowadays I can just relax and rely on our other work crew. It 
depends. If I'm doing yoga, it can be filmed anywhere. And we took different kinds of shots, close-ups and, and more wider angle and from side and from in front. When we were filming at yoga studio, I was impressed how good the other group members have done their job. I think since we were a group of exchange students here, we want to do something that is specific to Finland. And we heard about ice cream before since we wanted to try it ourselves. So we thought it would be an interesting idea to show people that try ice swimming the first time as well and compare it to someone, uh, maybe a Finnish person who does it for years already in a sleeping routine and have like the differences in how people can handle the cold water. about three people but there are some more people that helped us with shooting for example the sound we had someone help us with holding the boom mic so I think after all in total it would be like six or seven people who worked on the yeah on the documentary uh, for this one we used I think in total it was about three different DSLR cameras one that we borrowed here at the school it's a Panasonic Lumix GH4 and two more Canon DSLRs, then we had obviously some sound equipment like a boom mic and a friend of ours had a drone which was really helpful. Also we uh, borrowed a gimbal which looks pretty cool because you have a little movement in the camera shots without having any yeah, shaky video. And if everything goes right when shooting then it comes to the editing which often takes quite a long time so you have to yeah. Uh, for example, on our show we have had a lot of different cameras, so we had a lot of footage to take a look at, which already took a lot of time in itself, and that is only like the first part of the editing. I think the biggest impression that was left for me was definitely uh, the Finnish ice swimmer who did it I think for five, four years already and compared to the ones that tried it first it was really impressive that he could just stay in there like half a minute or even a minute without even showing any sign of pain in his face which was definitely different for me when I tried it the first time I suffered <laughs> quite a lot compared to him so I think that was quite impressive to show me how how the body can handle the cold and it's just a matter of yeah, a matter of habit. Now let's see how that progress. I guess thanks to my team for helping me film this. I'm hoping that it will turn out as good as I imagine now, but we'll 
we'll see in the few weeks. <laughs> it's my baby. <laughs>